This is the area where uh, a female was located upon entry uh, to the residence and to the location. She was actually uh, attempting to dispose of some evidence in uh, this burn area here. There's a camera system uh, located up here with a camera and audio and video. Coming through, Scott, I got a camera on, so you know. This is the workbench area where they believe they were manufacturing the methamphetamine and uh, the uh, camera system is being disassembled at this time. Flat screen monitor as well as a small handheld monitor. And, night vision camera. And the cameras were night vision as well. Do you have the small one or did you already take that? That's the monitor. Okay, there's the monitor. And a scanner. And a police scanner as well in this location. Okay, I'm going inside. This is the front entrance to the home. There was a rifle located just inside the door with ammunition readily available uh, just as you would enter the home. Going downstairs to a bedroom area. This is a location where everyone was sleeping. This was uh, a bedroom where uh, paraphernalia and various items were located as well. Right next to a crib where uh, an infant child would be sleeping. And this was the condition of the room pretty much uh, as the officers found it. Another bedroom where more children would be sleeping. And then the second room off of this room. Going upstairs. I have a camera on for TV 19 just so everybody knows. So, no inappropriate comments. <laughs> this is the main living area of the school. Large open area. An office area where more evidence was located. A loft area, which I assume was a play area for the children. kitchen area of the school. <laughs> 